In today's video, we'll go over Workflowy versus Dynalist. We're gonna break down two of the biggest names in the game to help you decide which one is the perfect fit for wrangling your thoughts and projects. Look, if you're anything like me, your digital life can feel like you're constantly trying to put out fires. You've got project notes over here, random ideas over there, and about a million to-do lists scattered across who knows how many apps. It's just overwhelming. But what if there was a way to finally bring some real structure to all that chaos? Well, that's where outliners come in. Think of them as the secret weapon for structured thinking. At their heart, they're really just super-powered bullet points. But the real magic? It's that incredible ability to zoom way in to focus on one tiny detail, or zoom all the way out to see the entire big picture with a single click. Now, when we look at Workflowy and Dynalists, we're not just comparing two pieces of software. No, we're looking at two totally different philosophies on how to organize your life. It really is a classic showdown. Elegant simplicity versus feature-packed power. In one corner, you've got Workflowy, the minimalist master. Its whole idea is that the best tool is one that just gets out of your way and lets you focus on what you're thinking. And in the other corner, we have Dynalist, the power user's toolkit. It's all about a more practical approach, arguing that, hey, more features mean more power to get things done. A quick look at their history kind of tells you everything. Workflowy was the pioneer, right? It showed up back in 2010, really setting the stage for that minimalist vibe. Then, five years later, Dynalist comes along, having had the chance to see what worked and deciding to build something way more feature-rich right from the get-go. And you can still feel those origins and how they're designed today. Okay, so philosophy is one thing, but what can these tools actually do for you? Let's dive into the nitty-gritty, the actual features, and put them side by side. For a lot of us, the decision really starts with the free plan, and right off the bat, there is a huge difference. Workflowy caps you at 250 new bullet points a month, and trust me, you can burn through that way faster than you think. Dynalist? No limit. It's unlimited. So if you plan on using this as your daily driver without opening your wallet, well, that's a massive point for Dynalist. But hold on, don't count Workflowy out just yet. In the last few years, it's added some absolutely killer features. The big one is the Kanban board view. You know, like in Trello. It lets you take any list and instantly visualize it as columns. So you can just drag and drop your tasks from to do to in progress to done. Honestly, it's a game changer for tracking projects. Dynalist though comes back swinging with a whole arsenal of power-ups. You can instantly turn your outline into a mind map for brainstorming. You can sync your due dates directly to your Google Calendar so you never miss a deadline. You can even use internal links to connect all your notes, essentially building your own personal Wikipedia. It's a whole other level of organization. So we've seen the features, but how do these apps actually feel to use day in and day out? Because a tool is so much more than just its feature list, right? It's about the experience. And, of course, what it's going to cost you if you want to upgrade. Using Workflowy is just effortless. It's one giant, endless page of bullet points. There's practically zero learning curve. You just open it and start typing. That's it. Dynalist is also easy to get started with, don't get me wrong, but to really unlock its full potential with all the folders, documents, and advanced searches, it's gonna take a bit more time to explore. It's incredibly powerful, but that power comes with a bit more complexity. Now, if you decide to go pro, the pricing pretty much lines up with their philosophies. Workflowy Pro will run you about five bucks a month if you pay annually. Dynalist Pro is a little more, around $8 a month. So you're basically paying a $3 premium for that whole suite of power user tools. Okay. We've covered the philosophies, the features, the feel, and the cost. So let's bring it all together and figure out which one of these amazing tools is the right one for you. So let's do a super quick recap. Workflow's biggest strengths are its simplicity, its speed, and its totally distraction-free vibe. The main weakness? It's lacking some of those heavy-duty organizational features. Dynalys's pros are its incredibly powerful tools. Tags, backlinks, calendar sync, the whole shebang. The cons? Well, there's a slightly steeper learning curve, and for some folks, it might just be overkill. Which brings us to the big question, the one we've been leading up to this whole time. Which one is your perfect match? All right, here's the bottom line. You should choose Workflowy if what you really want is a tool that feels like a clean sheet of paper, a place for fast brainstorming and simple task management where nothing gets in your way. But you should choose Dynalist if you're a knowledge worker someone who's building a complex personal database or managing detailed projects, and you need the power of advanced search, calendar integration, and multiple views. But wait, just when you think you've made up your mind, there's one more crucial piece to this puzzle, and it comes straight from the user community. It turns out the team behind Dynalist has shifted their focus to their other product, Obsidian. This means Dynalist is now in maintenance mode. It works, it's stable, but it's not getting significant new features. 
Workflowy, on the other hand, is getting updated all the time. And that, well, that completely reframes the entire decision, doesn't it? It's not just about simplicity versus power anymore. Now it's a choice between a powerful, feature-complete tool that might not change much from here on out, and a simpler, elegant tool that is constantly growing and evolving. So, which path will you choose?